Yo, it's me. Stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in, Jeff Arizona Hot Topics. What a stupid start to that video, wasn't it? Anyhow, so today's video, I want to talk about voting. So regardless of if you're in Arizona, wherever, right? Anywhere, anywhere watching this video, vote, vote, vote. It's your fault if you don't vote. Bottom line. Now, here's kind of some of my opinion on some of the voting thing is this. Some places have drop boxes. Now, way back in the day, see I've been voting for 38 years? Wow, I'm that old? Whew. I've been voting for a long time. You know, when I turned 18, I was like excited to vote. Got registered to vote. Actually, back then I also had to register for the draft. Got my vote, and back then you would go to the polls to vote. And about every high school, every junior high, and like every elementary school was a voting place. That's where you would go to vote, and you just go to the and you would be assigned that one because it's the closest one to you. And and it was easy. Everyone walked to it because there were schools everywhere. And as time has gone on, for some government reason, what's happened is the population and number of voters have increased, but the places you cast your vote has decreased. Now, does that seem like common sense? That's stupid. The bottom line is, is the government doesn't want to spend the money on the voters. To me, I think it's the government's responsibility to make, to make these places available to the people, regardless of cost. That should be the priority one out of everything else. Priority one, making sure that people have access to vote. By taking away these, these places from the schools to vote, you make it more difficult on the people to vote. Now, they say, well, to fix that, we're going to have drop boxes. Oh, my gosh. Don't do drop boxes. Never, ever put your ballot in a drop box. They are unsafe. They're unsecure. And you don't even know if it's a valid drop box, dude. What if? What if? I'm not saying they've done it. I'm sure they have. But what if? What if I go out and I create a drop box that looks just like the drop box right there, right? I make it look exactly like it. Some of you are saying, nah, you can't do that. Bull crap. Maybe I can't, but somebody could, right? You make the drop box look exactly like that. And they go and they put it somewhere. People start dropping off the ballots. And then what happens? Then, I go and I pick up the ballot box in the middle of the night. And no one's looking. I take all these ballots. And I burn them. I throw them away. Or maybe I open them up. And I look to see if they are uh, who they voted for. And whatever candidate I want, I burn those. And the other ones I take and I go drop off at the uh, post office. Now some are saying, but they're open now. Yeah. You can tamper with them. You can, you can, I'm pretty sure there's some experts out there who can open it. And even then, your vote didn't count. Because even if I tampered with it and they don't count that vote, it doesn't matter. Now that vote can't count because it's been tampered with. It means your vote didn't count. That in itself is wrong. So, don't do a drop box. Do not do a drop box. I don't know how many times I have to tell you, don't do a drop box. You're a freaking idiot. I said freak. A freaking idiot if you use a drop box. There's an alternative to that. The envelope says post is paid. Just mail it. Don't mail it from home. Don't mail it from work. Don't mail it in a 
bring your mailbox, go to the post office, walk inside, and either hand it to the person, or they have that one deal where they say like, what, international mail or regular mail or what, package mail, regular mail, whatever, I don't know, it's been a while since I've been there, and drop it in there, okay? Or they have the mailboxes outside the drive through drive through it's a blue mailbox, U.S. Postal Service, you drop it in there, that's good. Any other blue mailbox that's a U.S. Postal mailbox, use that one. Those are the only ones I would drop my ballot off in. I wouldn't even go to a, a mailbox, etc. type of thing, you know? where a lot of people will have their mailboxes and you go in there and you get your mailboxes and you can drop off your mail, pick up, whatever. I wouldn't even give it to them. I would drop it off in an actual blue mailbox. That to me is not only A, the most secure, because hey, they're bolted down. They're bolted down to the cement. So they're not so easy to remove and they're a lot harder to to, to fake, they're a lot harder to, to counterfeit, you know, it's a lot more difficult for me to make one of those and go put it out there, because everyone would be like, huh, where'd that one come from, I've never seen that one there before, just go to the one that you've always seen, if you never recall seeing one there before, don't use that one, that's why I say just go to the post office, every single town, every single city, and I think actually technically every single zip code I think, has to have a post office. But I know every city and town has to have a post office. So there's post offices out there. You just gotta get off your lazy butt and go there, okay? Now, this one day of voting and the mail votes and all this, I vote by mail. Some people are for and against all this kind of stuff, but here's the deal. I have a busy life. I know it doesn't seem like it. But even thinking back when I was young, I've been voting by mail for 30 years because I found myself not being able to get down there to vote. I'm like, crap, I can't vote today. I got, I got to, my life comes first, to be honest. Voting comes second. You know, when I have a job or when I had school or when I had some, you know, maybe kids to pick up from school or whatever, um, all that stuff comes first over casting a ballot, to be honest when I could just maybe mail it instead. Now, if there was some alternative, now I know in some cases, people in some states like Georgia, it's not Jim Crow on steroids like the Democrats say, because they actually make it so easy to vote. You got like almost a month to vote. I think it's 21 days to vote or something like that. Oh my gosh. Then you can vote in person and by mail. So, I don't think that's appropriate. I think that's a little too much. But still, I think there needs to be a better solution to the way we vote. Um, to encourage people to vote and, and to make it totally secure. Like these, every school, they need to pump the money into the system so that every single school, a public school, which is a government facility, has the ability to allow you to cast your ballot right there. And even your mail-in ballots, if you have your mail-in ballot, you can even go to them and hand it to them, and then they put it in one of their boxes. That, to me, is appropriate. And even if they have to do it for an entire week so that those can get there after work and even stay up until 10 o'clock at night, so that if you're working till seven or you gotta get off work at five, go get the kids, get home, feed the kids and then go vote, fine. You can vote at eight, nine o'clock at night. I kinda get that. So making voting more accessible in that way, to me makes a lot of sense, but you gotta have people there. And so they need to pump money into there so they can get the volunteers to do it. You know, if they had to pay their volunteers, then you're going to have the people to do it. But they need to pump money into that system. Every single state, every single place. Um, but that's kind of my opinion on the voting thing. 
Yeah, I vote by mail. Do not do a Dropbox. God, how many times do I have to tell you? Go to the U.S. Postal Service. Walk into their drive, drive do, do, do drive through whatever. Bottom line is, never, ever use a Dropbox. Either vote in person or go drop it off at the Postal Service. Take that extra couple of minutes. You're already in a car. And because you vote by mail, you can even do it on a Saturday. You can even do it on a Sunday. On a Sunday when the post office is closed, nobody's there. Pull in that one section where you can drop your mail off inside. Do that. You can even leave the car running if you want. I don't recommend it, but you can do that if you want. You can even leave the kids in the car and go in there and vote. I wouldn't recommend that either. So when they freak out, oh my God, you left kids in the car for like three seconds. Especially in Arizona when temperatures are 150 degrees. So, that's my two cents on voting. Get out there and vote. Regardless of what state you're in, vote, vote, vote. If enough people vote, America wins. If not enough people vote, America does not win. See you by a fund.